I'm Bill Harder, Director of the Center for Advancement of Scholarship and Teaching here at Goucher. I know many of you are anxious to see what a high flex classroom is going to look like this fall, and soon enough you have the opportunity to get in a physical classroom and test one out yourself. But until then, Michael Curry and I wanted to take a few minutes to show you what that setup's going to look like here at Goucher. We've tested a number of different scenarios, and the arrangement that seems to work best is to have any of the remote students join via Zoom, while the in-person students participate in your class as they normally would in any of your typical classes. This cuts down on audio issues and gives the in-person students the ability to directly engage with you in the classroom. For each class, you will need to create a Zoom session through your Goucher-provided Zoom account. The easiest way to do this is to simply create a single recurring session that will be used for every class meeting. And then provide your students with that link via Canvas and or email. Before we get to the technical issues, let's take a moment to look at the physical classroom setup. Each classroom will have certain areas marked out in tape. The red X's are where students' chairs must remain in order to maintain the appropriate physical distance. At the front of the room, you will find a rectangle for you to stand in. If you remain inside this area, you will maintain the appropriate physical distance from all student seats in the room. You will also notice that the lectern has some additions. Each lectern now comes with a plexiglass shield and a webcam mounted on an articulated arm. You'll need to plug in three things to your laptop. First, the power cable that you've brought with you. Second, the USB podium webcam. And finally, the HDMI cable to connect you to the projector and speakers in the room. Now, turn the projector on and let it warm up, just as you would do normally. Next, enter the Zoom room. By default, Zoom will likely connect to your computer's built-in webcam, microphone, and speakers. You will need to be sure to switch to the hardware built into the room. First, change the microphone from the one built into your computer to the microphone built into the webcam mounted on the lectern. Then change the audio output from your computer speakers to the speakers mounted in the room. Finally, change your video setting to the mounted webcam. Now that you are set up, let's imagine you've got a mix of in-person and remote students present, and now you're ready to start the class. We recommend that your in-person students close their devices, both for better engagement and to reduce audio interference. Most of the time, you'll want to teach with Zoom maximized on your computer screen. To get started, you should make sure that you are the only one in Zoom with a microphone on. You can use the Mute All option to turn everyone else's microphone off. When remote students have something to share with the class, they can unmute themselves and their voices will play over the speaker system built into the classroom. Hi, I have a question for Monica. I was wondering what you thought about the reading. When an in-person student has something to say, use the lectern mounted webcam to display that student. As well as the vocabulary and Structure. You can use Zoom to share your screen or slideshow to both the in-person students via the projector and the remote students via your screen share. Remember to end the Zoom session recording, then log out of Zoom, and then finally log out of Canvas before you leave the classroom. We hope that this has been helpful and you feel a little bit more comfortable with the classroom setup before you've had the chance to come in and work with it before the semester starts. Remember to sign up for a time to come in and test this hands-on in person. There are links in the email that you received from CAST to schedule your session. Looking forward to working with you.